I, I think that, well, the power of a great shoe, um, I think, is momentary in the sense that it will do something to make others, competitors, other brands, people think about that archetype. So a great shoe usually breaks the archetype at some point, just like good design does. But I always look for, in, 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 in shoes and in running shoes, I always look for something I think that's a little more, um, let's say, not only unusual, but uncommon. So it's just my nature to gravitate towards that because I get excited about seeing something that, you know, is not typical, let's say, first of all. Second of all, I think I know the industry so, so well. I mean, I've been, you know, I've spoken at the head at, at, uh, of, um, at Adidas. I've spoken at Nike. I've done a lot of talks. I've talked at Puma. So I, I know the culture and the industry quite, quite well. So when I'm out there and I see something that's really, I don't know how to say it, that excites me, really inspires me, then I you know, I need to, to buy it as a running shoe. And, and also, you know, me as a man, you know, I have a size 46, 47 shoe, so it's, uh, when I find something, let's say, for example, that's hot pink, or some of the colors that I gravitate towards, what I, you know, I always call them kind of the, the, the digital, the colors of the digital age, um, I immediately will buy it, because I just can't believe that someone's actually gonna make that kind of color, or that kind of form, or that style for, for men, so. There's always a lot more choice for women, put it that way. Though. When I started the design of the, of the project um, out of the box, I was trying to capture, let's say, more of the essence of the moment we live in now and how the, the running shoe has become the shoe of choice. And I, and I read um, recently that 60% of the world's shoe market is the sneaker running shoe which is phenomenal, really, when you think about it. It means that we're really, and it's something that I think in the last 20 years I've thought a lot about, which is the kind of age of casualism, which is really what we're steeped in, for sure. And it's not like we're going back, either. We're getting becoming more and more casual as, as kind of a global collective culture. So um, the show, uh, the way I designed the show and thought about the show was to really speak about what's going on with that technology, with, 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 say, the running shoe industry at this moment. And what it is, it's got to be, probably one of the most progressive industries because uh, on one hand it's we see it as a kind of fashion driven culture but there's probably more industrial design and more experimentation done with the running shoe than any other kind of form of footwear especially but even more so in fashion you could argue that the running shoe is probably um, the most technologically advanced part of the fashion industry you know and um, and and that's what's interesting about it because it it uh, bridges the boundaries of all about high performance, like all the way to the level of athletes, professional athletes, etc., all the way down to, you know, just a fashion item or a, or a collector's item or something of that nature. So, um, so I tried to design in the show a sense of uh, progressiveness, of technology, of how technology is affecting it, uh, how, um, let's say, advancements in material culture are affecting it, and uh, try to manifest that physically, which is always the challenge. <laughs> but that's the designer's challenge, really.